Hello, this is Marcus of the MLC CAD in Stillwater, Oklahoma, and it's time to solve my study. I've created the study using the wizard, and I've set up all my boundary conditions and goals to tell the software what I know and what I need to know. Now it's time to run. Now this run may take quite a while, so there's a few things that we can do to kind of ease that process or manage these resources. The first thing we'll do is tell it that we do want to solve. We could mesh it first and take a look at the mesh uh, by itself. But really, uh, if you do end up uh, solving something that takes a long time, you may decide that you don't want to tie up your computer to do it. You can simply add a remote solver. Uh, the license for flow simulation will go with the solution, and then it'll come back with the results when everything's done. You can also choose to throttle the number of CPUs that are in use at any given moment. So for instance, on this study, I may only want to use six CPUs so that I can continue to do email, surf the internet, or uh, do whatever other uh, operations I need to do, and I know that I'll still have some processing power available to do it. Now I'm going to go ahead and run this, and we're going to see what happens when it brings up the solver dialog. Now normally a solver dialog is just a nice little bar that fills up very slowly, and if you watch it too long, it'll stop moving. In this case, though, we have some ability to kind of peek into the results before they're all done. We can do a few things like we can take a look at the goals to see what the values of the goals are trending towards to see whether or not the values are going to be appropriate. Uh, the last thing you want to do is wait a long time for a study to solve just to find out that maybe you're going completely backwards or that the numbers are completely out of, rel uh, out of the realm of possibility. So here we can see the numbers are starting to show on the screen, and I can kind of monitor those as time goes on. But I also have the ability to create a preview plot. Now this preview plot is going to go ahead and, and uh, cut the model at a specific opening so that I can take a look at the pressure distribution, or the velocity, the temperature, uh, just about any parameter that would be interesting about the flow can be previewed. And as it continues to solve, I'll be able to watch and track the buildup of the airflow distribution. Now in this scenario, you'll see we're seeing some high pressure at the end. We're seeing some uh, pressure gradients as things are moving along. Uh, I may want to even kind of create a graph to show the convergence of my various goals so that I understand how close we are to actually making a solution. Now these values, uh, for this one, it's not going to take very long to solve, so uh, it's not a big deal to leave those up, but it does give you a really nice preview to understand when you're done and what the values are going to be before you ever finish. The solution is now done, and it's done a really great job of taking into account multiple cores, and the solver and the solution uh, has now been loaded into memory, so I'm ready to take a look at all those results. And that's how you run inside Flow Simulation.